What's going on guys, Devil Laser here, and this is my Barrows Guide. Um, this is a guide mainly for the people who are around the combat level of 93. So if you are above 100 and you have like the skills that, you know, you can do the method of the Salamander, you can do the uh, Slayer, um, what, what is it? You can do the, the Slayer Dart one, or the Magic Dart. Uh, if, you, if you can do those methods, um, stick with them. Because honestly, this one is way too, you know, it's too underleveled. But um, this is basically my setup. I have Mystic Hat and Mystic Robes, basically to boost my magic up. And the Magic Amulet, of course. And I have Red Dehyde Body, so it doesn't really kill my magic. Well, it kills my magic, but it still puts it into the positives. And it gives me some good defense. And I also have the Ava's Accumulator for the um, arrows, so I can, you know, maintain a decent amount of arrows without losing too many. Uh, Staff of Fire, of course, and Ring of Life, just in case stuff goes haywire. Um, but to begin, you definitely need a spade. Um, let's see, you're going to need a... Uh, tablet, a teleport tablet, just because, you know, you don't want to get stuck in there, and you know what, home teleport, you can use that, but, you know, say if it's just something, you know, you forgot that it, you, it's 25 minutes in, and, you know, the last five minutes you have to wait, and, you know, you just end up getting debris on your face, and you're like, ah, God, why didn't I listen to Devil Laser, uh, but, you know, just take a damn tablet, it's, it's going to be helpful in the long run. Um, you're also going to need prayer potions. Now, you're also going to need a prayer of at least, at least 47 or higher. Now, I know 43 you get, you know, protect from melee. But, you know, 47 is a decent number. Maybe even 50. Just get 50. Because mine's f at 54. So, you know, just high enough so that, you know, you don't have to burn through prayer potions like it's nobody's business. Um... I always bring three just in case, one half, um, and the other ones are four doses, so be sure to remember that. And the arrows I got, but I need, you, of course you're going to need a magic sh short bow. Ah, getting stuttering all over here. But um, magic short bow for um, Aram. Let's see, what else do we need? I know there's more. Of course we're going to need food. I always bring more than enough food. Uh, let's see. Oh, now I have perfect slots for runes. So let's just slide that down. And of course, we're going to need the runes. Um, this is just my method. Like I said, um, I usually do magic because they are extremely weak to magic. And I'm just really high leveled in magic. And I just love using magic. Um, so let's just do, for the sake of it, we're just going to take, ooh, not 150 of those. Uh, we're going to need to take much more than 150. Um, 500 plus 250, 750. Uh, 150, just for, you know, a decent strike that we got. Um, fire wave. All right, we got that good. We have that. I believe we are set to go. All right, so let's speed this shit up. <laughs> As you can see, there is a bush that you can spy on. I'm pretty sure that everyone will be looking at a walking bush. So, not much spying needs to be going on there. As you can see, we are at the gate to Barrows. Um, there are much faster ways of getting there, but as you can see, or as you know, this is the guide for the lower levels that don't have the um, you know luxury of having the house nearby. And all that other stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just rest real quick so that we actually have enough to make it through this forest or this swamp. And, um, you know, get to Barrow safely. And uh, get started, most definitely. 
Almost done there, buddy. All right, there we go. Now, be careful in this damn swamp because they will eat your food like it's nobody's business. Now, usually, I start off with D-Harrock first, just to get his ass out of the way. He is he is a tough cookie, man. He is a... Whew, don't want to mess with him. Alright, here we go. I usually set my melee to the, you know, quick prayer, so we just deal with that. We can get his ass out of here, because we do not like D-Harrock, man. Get out of here. Squeak! Come on, go away. Oh, by the way, the reason why you need those prayer pots is because every now and then, you're going to be losing 10 prayer. And that is a lot of prayer. See, look, 37, it's going to kick down. 30, 28, how the fuck does it just do that? And once you kill them, run out of there. Because you do not want, you do not want to lose any more than you already have started, man. Seriously, it will, it will catch up to you. Um, but we're not going to waste any time here. We're just going to go straight through it. With Varrock, I usually don't use the prayer. Because so, he usually hits through it with me anyway. But um, if you have high enough magic to do this, like, you know, I'd suggest around 70. But, um, you know, just safe. Eat. Do whatever you can just to stay alive. But um, I usually kill Varrock qu pretty quickly. And this is just with Fire Blast. But now I'm using Fire Wave. So it should be faster, but... Apparently not this time. Try to, I try to save as uh, many prayer pots as I can, you know, just for more runs in the future. All right, now that he's dead, you run out of there before your prayer goes all the way down. Uh, let's see. Now let's move on to Torag over here. I usually just go in like a circle. I get all the four melee guys out of the way, and then I start working on the, um, you know, other guys. So let's see what Torag has for for the offer this time. Oh, and we found the crypt, so let's get the hell out of there. Uh, once you find the crypt, uh, if you find it before you kill all six of them, uh, I suggest you kill all six before you go, because your reward will be better. Yeah, I think it's damn guaranteed. Let's go to Mr. What is it? Guthin? Yep, Mr. Guthin. Oh, let's not die to Guthin this time. Uh, yeah, I died to Guthin once, and it was a stupid accident because I forgot to click the prayer, and he just totally obliterated me. I don't know where it came from. I was just too oblivious to the fact that he was, like, chipping health off me, and I was, I guess I was just doing something else. <sighs> But Guthin, man, if you ever get your hands on any Guthin's things from this, uh, Barrows, um, from Barrows just in general, you, you better thank God, because that, that stuff goes for so much money. Alright, now we get out of here, Guthin's dead, now we're gonna go to Mr., uh, you know what, let's go to Carol first. I'd rather deal with Carol. Carol is not anybody to fuck with either. He is in pretty serious business over here. Just eat so we don't die. And let's wreck him because he's trying to, you know, come on, come on to my grill, you know? Get the fuck off, man. I'm trying to trying to collect my bounty here. Looking at dead bodies, but except I find purple demons. Oh, stop gobbling. Alright, you got this. There we go. 
All right, now we go to Aram. This is where the um, magic short bow comes in. Obviously, you need your arrows. If you forgot arrows, well, I feel so bad for you because you're going to be screwed. Um, definitely get ready because he will be on the assault basically the entire fucking time if you do not. So let's get the hell out and let's wrap. Let's just let's just kill him. Let's just get let's just get this over with. Now I wish my range was higher, but you know he starts really giving it to you because he starts lowering your range. So you want to get rid of him as fast as possible. I usually, uh, well, I used to bring, um, I used to bring uh, range plots, but I stopped just because I was like, you know what, it's just one guy. So what's the point of you know taking up one very important spot where you can put another piece of food or something? And also keep a watch of your um, prayer because that really, 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 really gets bad. And another feature that I do like about what they um, when they updated this, I guess I wasn't around, but they say they they give you a list of all the brothers slain and then the creatures slain, which I find very very helpful. And you should be dead now. Oh zero zero okay. <sighs> Aram, oh how I love you so. Thank you. I, now, I would pick up that steel arrow, but uh, just for the sake of time, I just want to get through with this. All right, so now we go to Torag again. Make sure um, to auto-cast Fire Wave again, and uh, keep your vials just because. Um, always have that prayer pot, pot ready, because this is where stuff gets tricky. So you dig, go into his sarcophagus, uh, hidden tunnel. Yeah, 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 I'm fearless. We get it. Uh, now, here's where shit gets tricky. You can't use that anymore. So, you know, you're going to have to start actually looking around and all that. You got to look for those open doors. All right. Now, once you find the open door, be on a goddamn lookout. He will just trick your ass. You're going to be walking somewhere, and all of a sudden, he's going to be like, oh, what's up, man? And <laughs> kiss your ass goodbye because shit. He is, he is relentless. Watch, he's just going to appear for me, because it, it, it's just my luck, too. Oh, and you you always find other people. It's always fun to talk to other people in Barrows. You know, you, you, you try, you're trying to, you know... Oh, oh shit, wait, can't do that. Torag, you don't fuck with me. All right? All right, buddy. See, Torag is the sneakiest fuck of them all. He just, he loves to just appear out of nowhere and just start whacking you with his two little hammers, which are complete crap. They're, they're awful weapons. If you ever find them, I feel bad for you then too. Like I can woodcut 10 pieces of you and you'll, and you'll feel bad because I, I've made more money than you. And there you go. That's all for that. And now that they're all dead, you can find your way to the middle. Basically, it's just, you're on this, on the corners of, um, why is that still up? You're you're on the corners of um, this this weird little maze, and you're supposed to find your way to the middle section, basically. And all the while, you're getting these like the random heads of the brothers just peering in at you, just like, "Hey, you killed me, man! What the hell's wrong with you?" And once you get into the centerpiece, oops, I fucked up. Oh, seriously? Do I have to kill you? Okay, if I have to kill you, I'll kill you. I have no problem with that. Oh, yeah, by the way, for the, um, obviously, you see for the brother slain, all six of them are dead. Now, for the creature slain, there are zero. Now, there's going to be a one because I killed somebody. So, once you do all that, you, you unlock, you go through, you go through the other one. Now, people say kill ten and, you know, see what happens. But, you know what, to be honest with you, it's, it's, just, a, it's just a damn waste of time in my book. And, um... It really doesn't help my rewards in the end. It's just a, it's just lottery, that's all. And once you kill him, you're going to have two creatures slain, of course. Watch out, because they do drop um, uh, charms. So let's just walk over here, where this guy's fighting. Who is he fighting? Was that Varrock? Well, let's just watch him uh, kill Varrock, because he's just... He looks pimping. Looks like he's doing the other method. I look like a fucking retard compared to him. Like, he's got, you know, the pennant top, and he's got the helm of Nezad, or whatever the hell it's called. A D skirt. I don't know why you got a skirt on, buddy, but that's up to you, boy. Uh, open the chest, take your award, got nothing good, of course, and get the fuck out of there. And that's it for my Barrows run. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, uh, and comment. Please comment.
And that's all for the video. Peace out, guys.